Good morning everybody. Welcome today, Wednesday, to our reading, Reading the Red. Uh, we're reading in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, and the scripture says this. Blessed are the, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are those who hunger and and thirst for righteousness they shall be satisfied that feeling of being satisfied is the end product of going on a journey we eat food in order to satisfy the inner cravings within us and that feeling of being satisfied is a, is a wholesome feeling when we achieve something that's a wholesome feeling and God wants us to live in that sense of accomplishment he wants us to live in that state of being satisfied. Satisfied that we are in a good place. That we, Even God himself, after he created the world, he looked and he said, it's good and he was well pleased. And we want to go through life. We want to go through today. Well pleased. Well pleased with all the different things that are going on. So, what should we be satisfied in? Well, again, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. We should be at peace with ourselves with regards to the righteousness that we have been in pursuit of during this day. Will we go through this day seeking after righteousness? Every encounter we have with any situation that we face will give us a choice to choose right or wrong, righteousness or unrighteousness. And to go through today through your lives hungry to pursue the right way hunger for righteousness god is a righteous god he was from the beginning and he will be in the end and everyone that pursues god will come on that journey with him in regards to righteousness and it's righteousness in the small things and the big things but in the decision making of our lives what is it to hunger is to have a craving to have a desire, to have a deep sense of longing. There's so much bad in our world. So many things are wrong. And God wants to use you and me to make a difference to the kind of world that we live in. Maybe we're not going to affect governments and nations, and, but we can affect our world. We can affect the people around us with righteousness. And that pursuit of righteousness is what God is looking for in Christians just think, if every Christian today took on that burning passion to hunger to do the right thing, hungry to pursue the right thing, so in all those right things that would be done, what kind of impact would that make on people? The light that would shine through them would make an impact. It would shine out. It would be that candle on the table. God wants to use us in righteousness. The question is, will we let him? Well, we'll only let him when we make that choice to walk with him. Remember, follow me. Well, this is the kind of following me bit that Jesus is talking about. When you face today situations that invite you to choose your will over his will, stop and think, should I do this? Is this right? Would God be happy with this? Father, what would you do now? These are the little questions that the Holy Spirit in you, if you're a Christian, you will get if you listen to him. Have a great day. Be blessed and live in righteousness.